This is NBC News Digest. Here is John Dancy, NBC News. Good evening. A Dutch priest kidnapped in Lebanon 16 days ago was found dead today. The Reverend Nicholas Kluter's body was found at the bottom of a well. The Toronto subway operated normally today despite threats of a terrorist bombing by an Armenian group. Thousands of police patrolled the huge subway system, but despite the protection, the number of riders was down 35%. A new gas leak at Union Carbide in Bhopal, India today, apparently chlorine. Seven people were injured, but thousands fled their homes. And the Houston police crackdown on people who write bad checks is working. Police say dozens of people are showing up cash in hand to pay off their debts. I'm John Dancy in Washington. More news later on this NBC station.
When our nation's security is threatened, the most unlikely man has all the answers. You have to look at this differently. How should I look at this? Like a criminal. Red. I hate working with a man. He's dangerous, but everything we've done would have been possible if it weren't for him. If you want to save lives and catch the bad guys, pay attention. So I guess we're stuck with each other. <laughs> Three-time Emmy winner James Fader in NBC's The Blacklist. Returns Monday, September 22nd. This is NBC News Digest. Here is Tom Brokaw, NBC News. Good afternoon. In California, Theodore Stroleski was let out of prison today. He had served five and a half years for killing his math professor at Stanford, but now he's right back in jail. He had threatened not to cooperate with his parole officers, and almost immediately, he did not. I'm Tom Brokaw in New York. More news later on this NBC station and on the NBC Nightly News.